What is up, guys? Welcome back to GWT Goon. See another episode for you today. So, after last episode, we've saved Jack. Finally, finally, we got Jack back. Everyone was having a party. I took a few pictures. I took some few snap. I might post it on the social media later on. I don't know, but um, let's go to see what kind of mission we got. Oh yes. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. So yeah, so last time the guy that invited us to this summer ball. Obviously, Alpha Doom. He's not really a so so person. No, 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 no. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. No gun. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> I've been touching his soda. <laughs> Except Alpha. Where's my hat? And I, I should, I should, I should get myself a top hat, isn't it? Like, like a boss. Thing, you know. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Gum gum. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. I'm surprised that they they asked Bill in himself for uh, the guy doing like financed guy, because it seems like that kind of guy is doing show show stuff. But oh well. Wow. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Ah, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All this vulgar... Oh, he's, he's definitely a snake. 
Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money... Yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes! Sure, <laughs> my guest. just... Ah. Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. If you'll kindly follow me. Oh. oh. We know. Something. Can I? Of course I can't. I come back again. Ciao ciao. Gentlemen, let's go and ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. <laughs> go make some new friends. I'm gonna find out of old Cornwall and what's his name? Milton knows where you are. I thought the plan was not trying to warp anyone. Ah, get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim the lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know what? Great fuck, I'm drunk. <laughs> you know. I used to be a great beauty, and an even greater wit. <laughs> Time. What a total bastard it is, huh? And again, I always loved bastards. The okay. real ones, I mean. Champagne, sir? This is quite a town. Hugely overrated. No. Uh, I don't Hello, sir. Here. I was here for the poker. Oh, you, the truth is, since the war, the country's doomed itself. I disagree. The war? The war was 30 years ago. I was just a boy. And since then we have fought more wars. And we will fight more again. Now the country tore itself apart. The country don't even exist. We exist. Am I family? Said the next big tournament, which I will not be attending, is for a game too rich for my blood. I may be a name, but I am a sensible name. Is that so? Oh, sure, I'm not a wealthy man. I run a prison. Any modern arms are very well, but my daughter could do better. The stakes game attracts oil men. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. Clearly not from this swampy hellhole. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> law and order, Mr. Jameson. I agree, Major. <laughs> <laughs> Camilla McClare, wherever did you get that? Why, that would be telling. Oh, you. <laughs> You're always so stylish. Try. Mostly I fail. But I How do you do? Glass of champagne, sir? You French, sir? Sorry. Originals. I'm from Quebec. But I left many moons ago. And you? Oh. <laughs> no. I came down from New York for a job. I'm a banker. A banker? How old? A pub. A Russian. <laughs> We're making that noise. <laughs> and what do you do, Mr. LaFont? Originally furs. <gasps> you okay? Oh, my lord. <laughs> the pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, Algernon Lewis. 
Hello. The fashion is Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No more. What is it that uh, that you do? I'm uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, and me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable, an estate in this land of commonplace heathens. Finishes. My card, sir. We handle more cash and cash equivalents than. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. There, he, that looks extremely f skinny. Like compared to other people. Evening, folks. Oh, how do you do? Alone here in town has more cash reserves on site than any bank in the entire country. Evening, all. Hello. How are you all doing? Uh, bonjour. It ain't complex, am you? And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? I know. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Chill. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Hello there. Gentlemen. Evening, gentlemen. Oh, no. Good evening. How do you do? Good evening, ladies. How do you do? Monsieur? Monsieur? Evening, folks. Thank you, sir. My oh. pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I'm Lord Ryder. Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Peace. My lord, they're fantastic. Firework. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. Please. <laughs> Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. It's a horse's ass. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find uh -huh. out what. Sure. We need to follow them. Look at the firework! What this? Monsieur! Monsieur! If I turn around? No, 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 What are you doing? Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. We're not going to stand or slip in this house. Have 
you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. A backhand. He was like ready for the backhand. No, what you doing? Like. So now we got a letter. Going back to join the party. And I missed the firework. Also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Oh. Poker game. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. <laughs> All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. High you society. Ask me, it's like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, anybody see you take this? I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Hmm, what kind of ideas going on? <laughs> Interesting times, <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where That's is what home? I heard last I time. Exactly. But I can smell it. 
I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Yeah, you do your thing. I didn't accept a gift. That's the only thing I didn't do. I didn't accept a gift. <laughs> ah! Oh, piece where you go. Hello. And good Joy is not seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. So now you can see most of the things is kind of happen in Saint Denis. So before we go, we might do some Banksy Hunter. You might uh, get some killing some people. It's always nice. Can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. Okay, this seems like a family is here. You haven't even tried anything. I'm sorry, Pop. I'm... Oh, the boy's crying. I 
Ain't raising no goddamn sissy. Exactly. Come on. Come on, boy. What was that? I can't. Would you end this madness? Okay. Okay. You'll get there next try. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. I won't take but a moment. Take it quick. You're a forgiven man. Sure. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? No, don't. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay. I'm not going to fight you if you're being like this. Take me away or let me loose. So at this point, should I take him? If you want to take me, take me. I feel like you're going to take me or what? He's showing his clemency. Go, before he changes his mind. Go! I let him go. They won't survive, especially with those kid, with that kid. I have to I have to get him that's Oop. what happened he escaped so I have to get him sorry guys I was thinking about being nice today but um apparently the game won't let me I have to be well not much of the nice I can't daddy please let him in he's been trying for hours yeah. You're here for your bounty. Come to mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. It's like God of War. Exactly as I say. Boy. You hear? Don't. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family, okay? Sorry guys, I had to take him away. Bastard. Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. Remember this now. moment. Be a man, boy. Exactly. It just isn't your day, is it? Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. It's just us now, son. It's just us. <laughs> Daddy did a bad thing. <laughs> he did a bad thing. And there ain't no such thing as forgiveness. For the hat. There, there. You're the man now. Remember your daddy. 
You might not see him again. <laughs> goodbye. Say a final goodbye now. Try this. Nope, it's not working. Just like a peaceful. Let me take you away. Or kill me. But obviously, you're not that good enough. My money now. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, Howdy Hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. We all deserve. We can chances, every one of us. I'm not listening. Got another outlaw we're seeking. Poster will be done and in the station in no time hence. Another one? Yeah, of course. I swear I'm a good man now, Sheriff. I got a son. Just because yep. you got a son, that doesn't make you all of a sudden become good. Land for sale.
for the stat. Hi right, guys, I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you guys for watching another episode here, hope you enjoyed it, I will see you on the next week.